Okay, guys, this is the last one in this section, okay? Um, the only thing that's different about this one is when we get down to the very end, we can see that B is constrained to move in a particular direction like that, okay? So we'll, we'll handle that right at the end. But let's go ahead and proceed like we normally do. So here is VA for us. So VA is, as a vector, is minus 3J, just like that. Then we've got our location vector R, RAB. So RAB is going to be minus 2 cosine 45 minus 2, oops. There's an I hat on there, minus 2 sine 45 j hat, okay? Let's plug it in, do our magic, or rather let the equation do its magic. So VB, VA we said was minus 3j, we've got omega k, crossed with minus 2 cosine 45 i hat minus 2 sine 45 j hat. Okay, let's go ahead and execute that cross product. Minus 3j plus, oops, rather minus, 2 omega cosine 45, and that's going to be a j hat, and then minus 2 omega sine 45 minus i hat. Okay. I like to do it this way, okay? I've, I've done several of these today, and that for me is the safest way to make sure I get my direction correct. Um, if you want to go ahead and multiply out and call this a plus, that's totally fine. That's up to you, okay? Me, I, I, I tend to forget stuff like that, and so it's safer for me to just put it in brackets and go minus i like that. Now, on the other side of our equation over here, then we've got VBX i hat plus VBY j hat. Okay. So we'll break it up into our uh, two different equations, as is typical. So i, and we're going to have VBX. And that's equal to the only x term I've got turns out to be 2 omega sine 45. Okay. I'm just going to double check that. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, we're good. Now we'll do the, uh, the vertical information. So I've got VBY. That's going to be equal minus 3 minus 2 omega cosine 45. Okay. You could, I don't know if you caught me pausing there. I, I always like to check. Like if I'm, if I get over here and I put cosine 45, I want to make sure that I did sine 45 over on that, that side. It's just a sort of way to double check myself because I know um, they should be opposites that way. Okay. Okay, so now we've got one of those situations where it looks like I have one, two, three unknowns and only two equations, but um, kind of yes and kind of no. Kind of yes and kind of no. We do need another relationship in this case. And that's uh, where we started out over here by realizing that B is constrained to move back and forth like this. So our workaround for this is to say that VB, oops, 
with that guy is to say that VB as a vector is equal to some magnitude times cosine 30 i hat. Now I'm going to put a negative in there. So what I'm saying then is, is if VB turns out to be positive, that means it's going to be going uphill like this. And then I'm going to put in my other term, um, VB sine 30 j hat. Okay, so now I've got my x component, VB x, and I've got my y component, VB y. Just like that. So let's take that information and let's plug it up into our other relationship. All right, so VBX was minus VB cosine 30, and that has to be equal to 2 omega sine 45. VBY was VB sine 30. And that's minus 3 minus 2 omega cosine 45. Just like that. So now let's let me take a look at my unknowns, see if it's intractable or not. Okay. So I got VB, VB, nice. And then I got omega and omega. So I have two equations and two unknowns. Drop that dude in my calculator. Mission accomplished. All right.